Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I renovated our small bathroom. In the first phase of this project, I wanted to make over our old vanity cabinet. I did a little bit of research and I came up with this picture and I got inspired with that. In order to quantify the amount of required material, precise measurement needs to be done. I usually buy the required material for my project either from Lowe's or from the Home Depot. You can go to any hardware store close to your location. I stained all the pieces, let them dry and then cut them into required pieces. I didn't do any surface preparation on a old vanity cabinet that I had since I was going to attach all the wooden strips using my brad nailer gun. I used two little uh, wood pieces as spacer to maintain a desired amount of space between uh, wood strips. Uh, using those two little pieces made it much more easier for me to nail um, all the pieces down as fast as possible. I bought this beautiful wooden sink from Amazon, but uh, I wasn't sure about its um, durability against water, so I decided to apply a thick coat of epoxy on it to just create a kind of waterproof uh, layer on top of that. First of all, you need to clean the surface using a lint-free piece of fabric. You can spray acetone uh, on a surface and then clean it with that piece of fabric. In this case, it's very important to pick a right type of epoxy. Each resin type has its own specific mixing ratio instruction. In this particular project, I have used a kind of epoxy with two parts resin and one part curing agent ratio. And the next step was creating a vanity top. Since I was going to use a kind of ball sink instead of pre-hole sink, um, the previous vanity top didn't work for me. So I decided to create a new vanity top and put the uh, wooden sink ball on top of that. I bought a three quarters of an inch MDF sheet and um, since I don't have a table saw, I asked one of my friends to cut it for me. Also, he cut two inches strips out of that MDF sheet. I nailed those uh, strips around the uh, vanity top that he already cut for me. Um, by doing this, you will create an illusion of having a thick piece. Then I painted that piece in white and create a kind of marble effect um, on that piece and then use my epoxy, my leftover epoxy to cover it and make it kind of waterproof countertop. It takes approximately 48 hours for that epoxy that I used to be cured completely and get hardened enough uh, to continue working with that. While that piece of epoxy was curing, with the help of my husband, I removed a uh, backsplash um, stone and also the main uh, vanity top. Then I put the brand new vanity top that I just created and uh, I put the sink on top of that, sink bowl on top of that to specify the location of the drain hole. The challenging part of this project was making sure the drain hole was aligned with the J trap um, inside the cabinet. It took me a while to figure out how to connect the new drain hole with the J-trap underneath. And finally, I came up with an idea of using a kind of connection pipe. So as you see in this picture, the new drain pipe is not aligned with the J-trap. 
So I needed to use a kind of transition um, pipe to connect those two. The moment that I saw this flexible pipe in the Home Depot, I did, came up with the idea of connecting the new drain pipe with the J-trap using this flexible pipe. Uh, to be honest with you, I think uh, using this flexible pipe might not be a good idea to solve this problem since uh, the corrugated part in this flexible pipe may clog up with debris over the time. But for now, I'm going to use it as a temporary solution for the problem. But in future, I might need to uh, relocate the J-trap using the extension uh, at the back of that and bring it a little bit forward and align it with a new drain pipe. Uh, in this case, I don't need to use that flexible pipe um, to align it because it's already aligned. After specifying the location of the drain pipe and also the faucet hose, um, I use a kind of uh, big bead to make a hole. I don't know, to be honest with you, I don't know what it is called, but uh, it's a kind of bead uh, to create a big hole in a surface. And since the top of the vanity is made of MDF, it was not very difficult for me to make holes in it. After making those two holes, uh, one for the main uh, drain pipe and one for the faucet hose, I just simply uh, bring back the counter, the vanity top to um, its location, put it on a vanity top and then bring back the wooden um, bowl sink and also faucet, pull, put them in place and connect the hose to the main pipe and also connect the drain uh, pipe to the J-trap. Uh, then I painted uh, one of the wall as a kind of accent wall, make it a kind of accent wall uh, with a very dark um, green color. Uh, the, the paint that I uh, used was a water-based paint, which was a really great idea um, to paint the wall with because it, they dry out really fast and they don't uh, stink or they they don't smell very bad so they would be a good idea to paint the wall with a water-based color in the third phase of this project I tried to create a kind of wooden frame uh, using pocket holes um, probably in one video I completely show you how to use pocket hole jig to create pocket hole and connect two pieces in a way that the connection uh, and screws is not going to show up uh, in a surface. It's, it's going to be it's 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 going to be a kind of hidden connection using pocket holes. Mm, after creating the wooden uh, frame, you can paint it or stain it. It depends on your design, um, and then you can just add a little bit more details. I have used a kind of L shape. Uh, metal piece pieces uh, in the corners to just add more like details to my design and then I cut the shelf sand them down make the surface to be very smooth and then uh, I stain them put them outside to be dried out um, the biggest mistake that I made was using a kind of oil based stain they are kind of very gross they are very um smelly and uh they smell so bad but if you're gonna use uh these pieces or these shelves or whatever inside your home i strongly recommend you to use a water-based stain they're not uh, stinky they're they don't smell very bad 
and they're going to dry out very quickly, much more faster than oil-based stains. I got this black bracket uh, for my floating shelf from Amazon. Um, I can link them down below if you're interested in these uh, brackets. Um, you can just buy them. This is this. It, it was my second time buying this bracket. They are so sturdy and strong, and they can hold a very heavy piece of wood as as your shelf so um, I have had a great experience with them so far uh, then I added my backsplash pieces um, I cut this backsplash pieces out of um, kind of baseboard leftover from my previous project these are not technically backsplash pieces I they just uh, baseboard pieces uh, made out of uh, made of plastic probably I don't know what kind of material is that but it's very similar to plastic it's it's not wooden so it's a kind of waterproof material so um, uh, with a really great durability against water so you can use it as a backsplash in in the bathroom and then um, you need to seal all the uh, seams and uh, joints between the backsplash pieces and your countertop or vanity top with caulk or silicon or something like caulk or silicon. And then voila, your project is ready but you need to make sure that everything is fine, specifically the piping and um, plumbing section of your project. You need to make sure they're not leaking, they don't have any problem, because um, it's gonna be a very nasty thing if you find out later on uh, something's wrong with the plumbing system. I need to give a disclaimer here um, and telling you that what I have done so far or what I'm doing during my DIY project everything is based on my own experience um, checking different YouTube channels learning things from other youtubers and stuff like that I'm not a professional uh, plumber professional um, builder or something like that it's just my passion to do my little project at home, create things, um, makeovers and stuff like that. But uh, just keep it in your mind. If you are going to do uh, something similar to my project, please go ahead and do your own research. Find your own way. Or if you want, you can just follow my techniques. But uh, I cannot guarantee you that the result would be the best perfect result ever you may uh, face with uh, different challenges or problems and uh, you may need to search for that but to be honest with you it's a very fun process to me hopefully you enjoy it and you find something useful in my videos um, to use in your own project thank you so much and have a great wonderful day